Hello, welcome to our course on Advanced Excel from Edionics, and I'm Cindy. I'm so excited to be able to go through all these videos with you because I really like Excel a lot, so we're going to have a lot of fun as we go through here. I want to take a minute and just tell you a little bit about myself and also what to expect as you go through this series of videos. So first of all, I have been teaching Excel for over 15 years now, so it's been quite a while, and I really like Excel a lot. So one of the things you're going to find is that no matter which version you have, you're going to be able to use everything we talk about in these videos because the basics don't change. Typically what happens is when they come out with a new version, they change the look of something or they add a button, but like I said, the basics pretty much work the same way. So let me give you an idea of the types of things we're going to be talking about in this series of videos. So first of all, we're going to do a quick intro and we're not going to spend a lot of time on that, but I want to make sure that you know a little bit about all the tools and everything you see on the screen so that if you have to find something, you're not fumbling around looking for it. I also want to go through all the selecting techniques very quickly just to make sure you know the quickest way to do some of these things. So we are going to spend some time talking about some of the different mathematical functions that Excel has. Now if you've written formulas before and you've used a word like the word sum for example or the word average, then that's what a function is. We're going to be getting into some more of the advanced functions that Excel has, like if statements, VLOOKUPs, what they call round functions. We're also going to be performing some data lookups. So if you have a lot of data in your particular spreadsheet, what's the quickest way to find some specific data you might be looking for? We'll be looking at spark lines, outlining, and scenarios. So when we get to those, I'll kind of explain what those are. And then also the custom views option that Excel has. So what I want you to do right now is go ahead and get out a pen and paper and get ready to take lots of notes because we're going to get started here. So I will see you over in the next video.